Today we got a really classy piece. This is Bela Lugosi as Dracula. This is the NECA figure. Um, this guy, uh, he was a little hard to find, but uh, he's starting to pop up now. Uh, I think this is from the first wave of figures, so check your nearest uh, targets and Walmarts. Um, I know there's it been one or two getting out there. So uh, yeah, good luck hunting for him. Um, I also got mine from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, they're another place that, uh, that has this dude, but yeah, the packaging is again, exceptional on these guys. I think this is, um, NECA is probably their, their best line of figures. Uh, they're very accurate to the original, uh, creatures and characters and actors. Uh, the articulation's great and they come with a lot of accessories. I love that he has three different portraits, um, with the, with the different expressions. It's really fantastic. These guys, they know what they're doing. Um, uh, with this line, it, it proves it. Uh, and yeah, so here is the uh, first look at this figure out of the box. Uh, and again, he one of my all-time favorites. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, this guy is a must-buy, especially if you're a fan of Universal Monsters. Don't sleep on this. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be harder to find in the coming years as well. So get him now while he's in stores. But uh, yeah, the uh, the suit looks great. Portrait's great. The paint job is beyond immaculate. This thing is so freaking incredible uh, I, again just every little bit of detail that they put on him uh his face and everything it, it is just yeah it's spot on there's it's undeniable it's bell lugosi uh in all three portraits and uh, yeah we're gonna be getting into all of this <clears throat> but uh yeah i i think these guys they're hitting home runs um i would like to see more kind of classic uh movie characters too from this from NECA. Uh, hopefully they'll, they'll get to doing even more of this this type of stuff because uh yeah they're hitting it out of the park here is his cape um yeah a lot of material here but they did a really good job the way that it, it, it sits on him and, and kind of flows it's great uh yeah he's got like uh the collars um a uh, piece of plastic that uh it grips the back of his neck just just right it won't fall off once you get it on I'll show you right here and yeah uh, again and however you want to display them you have options uh, and that's a damn good thing very impressive and if you think it sits too high up you could also kind of um, pull the head out a little bit the head and the neck are um, they're kind of together so when you swap out the heads which is super easy to do um, if, if you want the, the neck to be a little bit longer, you can kind of do that too. It's, it's up to you how you want to kind of position and fit your figures. But yeah, here's uh, the other stuff that he comes with. Again, the other portrait. This is more of the neutral face. And yeah, uh, like I said, the paint is perfect on this. I, I think they're, they're like, uh, they do it digitally now. Uh, the way that they're doing the... Um, the painting on these uh to get like the eyes to be spot on the type of shadowing all that stuff really amazing here's his more angry face again really really good yeah in in person it's just it's even more spectacular so i'm just trying to, to get it right for you guys so you can see it properly but yeah, um, yeah, the, the way that they sculpted these faces too, uh, super clean, you know, the hair is perfect. Yeah, he comes with a bunch of different hands. So this is for um, holding the, um, the candlestick thing. There is, uh, yeah, a bunch of his kind of signature hand uh, gestures that he does in the film. They got all that just right. A little ring on the finger as well. It's excellent. Here's the candle. Again, everything is just, it's, it's sculpted to perfection. 
you know this this piece might seem a little more fragile so just be careful with it and you know how you pop it in the hand and everything uh, i would suggest probably putting it through the fingers first and then pushing the hand into the peg or the the peg into the wrist rather um he does come with his two goblets love how they paint that as well looks like uh, actual wine or blood or whatever you might think it is uh there's the bottle and uh, yeah this base this is actually for his bat or he turns into a bat bat but uh, yeah, and you, you stick kind of the, uh, there's a clear pole and the ball joint goes underneath there. So you can kind of angle them whichever way you want. I will be showing you that now. Yeah, here's a clear stick. And again, fairly, fairly simple to do. Just pops in there. And you put the other part into the base and bam. Tilt them, do whatever you need to do. But yeah, really well done. Here's a better look at the figure as well. Yeah, look at the, the buttons on the suit, the tailoring. It's just, it all looks so good. Well, again, it's, it's all sculpted, but um, the the tailoring on the cape, I mean, like the way that they stitched it and everything, it's, it's wonderful. And the material's really nice in the cape as well. The nice uh, glossy shoes, the strip down the leg. Yeah, man, every, everything is spot on. I know that there was a little bit of a discussion. They wanted to get the Spanish actor, a portrait of him, um, to get in here as well. And I, I think the Bella Lugosi family said no. Because <laughs> uh, when they were done filming the actual movie, uh, they had a Spanish crew come in and they, and they filmed um, well, with a different actor and everything. But yeah, our articulation on the head is fantastic. There's our articulation by the neck as well. Arms go all the way around. Uh, it has a hinge that so goes outward and inward. Um, single bend for the elbow, but again, you can kind of have it, um, you know, a little bit of articulation there too, the swivel. Uh, wrist, fantastic as well. Uh, he has a little bit of a ball joint that's underneath, um, and he has a little bit of hula hoop action going, but it's all kind of stiff. Um, his splits, not bad. I mean, again, for Dracula, you're not seeing him doing... Uh, Van Dam moves, but you can almost get there. A uh, single bend for the knee, but it kind of it, it can pivot just like the uh, the elbows, and uh, he's got some ball joint going on in the ankle, although it's a little bit limited. And uh, yeah, here he is with his bat. Again, it's usually his bat form, but you know, display however you like. But I think this is a super classy piece, uh, and again, this is the figure that we've all been kind of. Um, you know, itching for. So uh, I believe there's four of them out right now. So it's Frankenstein, Wolfman, The Mummy, and Dracula. Next up, oh, and I think Invisible Man as well. Um, yeah, uh, my friend Trina, she, she picked up the Invisible Man as well. So he's out. And the next one's coming out. It looks like it's going to be the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I think the Bride of Frankenstein. Those might be the next two up. Um... But yeah, the pictures of uh, the, the sea creature there looks incredible. But uh, yeah. Dude, yeah, the, beautiful stuff. Uh, NECA, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. And yeah, here are, here he is with two of the other famous monsters. And uh, yeah, I, I think these guys are perfect. You do your own little monster squad here. Which I'm surprised they haven't tackled that yet. That Dracula was really cool too. But uh, yeah. So yeah, I do have the colored versions for all of these. That's what I prefer. There are black and white ones as well, so if you're looking for that, uh, you know, those are also out. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to hit like and subscribe. I'm going to have more stuff coming at you soon. But uh, yeah, th this is a piece I've been I've been meaning to, to get to and uh, really happy that I did. Uh, I, I still have to do a couple of gargoyle reviews as well. Um, I got Hudson and I did take him out of the packaging and he looks amazing. So he might be my, my next figure to review, but, uh, yeah, back to Dracula again, super classy piece. You can do multiple, um, different kind of looks for him because he's got the three different expressions, um, the accessories, 
uh, cape, without the cape, however you want to do it. Um, yeah. And there is also like the, I think it's like 40 bucks though as well, uh, which is kind of expensive, but, um, they have his coffin and a bunch of creatures of the night that come with that. Um, I have not seen that in stores, but I think that's also available right now as well. Uh, I doubt I'll be getting that. I, I think it's way too expensive, um, for that, for that type of item. But again, you know, piece is incredible. Uh, this is perfect. I have no complaints with this whatsoever. Um, you know, it's just, yeah, wow. Um, very, very impressed. Uh, if I had to have one gripe, I'd say maybe it would be the kind of the slight diaper look. But again, the original movie and his design of his, you know, the clothes and stuff, it kind of had a, a slightly odd shape to it, how it came out from, from underneath the, the front part. So I don't know. I think it's accurate. It looks good. But again, get him in a slightly different pose or get him with his cape. Either way, I, you know, this guy looks awesome from like every shot. And yeah, I had to make sure I get a nice, uh, you know, the angry head on there as well. Nice, cool pose. But yeah, beautiful stuff. So yeah, if there's anything else you guys would like me to review, just, you know, let me know in the comment section too. I know there's still a bunch of like uh, SH figure arts figures I've been meaning to get to. But anyway, uh, thank you again for watching. All right, for anyone looking for some amazing comic books, uh, this is part of my collection. I am the artist and creator of Shadow of the Kraken. This is a beautiful pirate story, 52 pages, beautiful artwork. Um, yeah, everything you need out of a great pirate story, you're right here. We have City of Venus. It's a futuristic story. Also another one that I totally created. Um, beautiful if you love uh kind of post-apocalyptic worlds beautiful women uh sci-fi action this has a little bit of everything in it so if you're looking for that um on that campaign you could also get for a limited time uh volume one and two of my art books these are loaded with amazing images 52 pages each uh yeah they got pretty much everything you need in there and we have of course hardcover book this is through the woods um co-created and written by Frankie Tartamella, my brother. And uh, yeah, I did all the artwork. This is 100 pages. You get the entire story in here, uh, beginning, middle, end. You get all of it, and it is truly amazing. So uh, if you're looking for a, a great ghost story, uh, this is definitely the book for you. Just click the link in the descriptions, and uh, yeah, these books ship immediately.